Oh, the devil. Oh, yeah. Boo. <laughs> anyway, okay. So this is uh, the PC I used to use, or I have used up until a few months ago. And I, I, I did use it regularly, then I just use it as a server when I bought my new desktop. Um, so I used to you'd use it to watch my movies on Plex, and this was just a server. Um, but unfortunately, uh, it's conked out. All I'm getting is the red screen of death. <laughs> okay, uh, it was blue, then it went red. Now, it could be a number of things wrong with it. RAM, it could be corrupted hard drive, it could be a corrupted file. I don't know what the hell it is. I mean, I've had it for a while now. It's an old little Acer Micro Mini PC desktop. It's served its purpose. I don't really need it. But what I am interested in is the hard drive inside. That, if it's not corrupted, fingers crossed, okay? Uh, because it's got all my movies on there. It's got, I've got hundreds of movies saved on this hard drive in here. Now, luckily, this is quite easy to remove, which I'll show you in a second. These were really good little machines for, in their time. They are a bit dated now, but in their t at the time I bought this, it was, it was a decent little desktop. Uh, but I do want to get the, uh, the two and a half inch hard drive out of there and see if I can get my movies off it. So what I've bought is this two and a half inch SATA hard drive enclosure. So I'm hoping to take the hard drive out of here, pop it into this and uh, plug it in. And there we are. Well, hey, all done. That easy. I hope so. Anyway, let's have a look what's uh, in the box. Okay, so let's have a look at the specs. We've got uh, input micro USB 3.0. Output 7 plus 15p SATA, USB port, theoretically transfer speeds of up to 5 gigabits per second, SATA port SATA 3, 6 gigabits per second, and backwards compatible with SATA 2, 3 gigabits per second, and SATA 1. Uh, applicability 9.5 millimeter and below thickness of 2.5 inch SATA HDD and SDD, so it's compatible with a hard disk drive or a solid state drive. And compatible systems, uh, Windows Vista, XP 7, 8, 10, Linux, Mac, Operating System 10 and higher, US, UASP supported. Okay, and it looks pretty straightforward. So it looks like you just press it down here, slide that thing back. Let's have a look there. And there we are, slide that off. And as you can see inside there then, you see that there? That's where you plug in your hard drive or SSD, whichever one. Put the cap back on and away you go. And that's pretty much how simple it is. Right, all I need to do now is get the hard drive out of this. Okay, now these have been designed uh, specifically so you can add uh, more memory to them. So you can actually put two one terabyte uh, hard drives in these either side and it's very easy to put them in and get them out. And I'll show you how easy it is now. So just press this button on the on the back here. Now I'm saying it's easy and this is gonna make, gonna make me look silly now, isn't it? Now I should be able to just push that in, lift the lid off, and there you are. Now which one has the hard drive in? So you can see here, that's the empty one. I can put one in here and just pop that back in there, okay? And I'm just gonna get this one out of here now. And there it is there. I should be able to just get that out. And there we are. Okay, and there it is. Okay, I'm just gonna plug that now into this case and hopefully it's gonna work. So hopefully I'm just gonna to have to slide it in here now. And uh, there you go, click it in. Seems okay at the moment. And there you go, it should be ready to rock and roll. So if the hard drive isn't corrupted, I should be able to retrieve my files now. Okay, so I've got it here. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Uh, so let's have a look. Okay, the light's coming on, so it's working. Now, I'm not gonna open any files at the moment. What I wanna do is just before I start, is give it a quick virus scan. 
So I'm just going to scan it and make sure there's no nasties in there. Okay, so I'm just going to run a scan at the moment and I'll come back once the scan is finished. Okay, so I ran the scan and luckily it came back with no malware, so it should be safe to go in it now. And you can see all my folders are there, so it looks like it's not corrupted. Let's just double check, uh, go into um, TV show. So there's all my movies and things like that, pictures and whatever I've got, photo books. So let's have a look to see if we can uh, look for Mr. Bean, the animated series. And there is old Mr. Bean. There we are. And it's playing fine. Beautiful! And there we are. It seems that all my files and everything seems to be in order. Yeah. So, there you go. Um, it seems to be working well. Don't see any problem with it. I've, I've, I've recovered all my files now from that PC. The hard drive still working, not corrupt, so everyone's a winner. So, so far, the Ugreen has been working well. So, if you liked the video, give it a like. And don't forget, subscribe. Come on, sort it out. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.